Do you need some easy, no stress math games for your kids? Well, I've got some fun dice games coming up. Hi, this is Tessa. I'm a first and second grade teacher staying at home now with my two boys. Today, I'm going to share some easy, fun dice games to boost your kiddos' math skills. These games are perfect for your preschool, kindergarten, or first grader to help their number sense. So let's get started. Okay, let's talk about what you need to play these games. Really, the only thing you need is some dice. It can be any kind of dice that you have laying around. Um, I like these big, big ones because I've got an eight month old and he can't fit this in his mouth. Uh, and I like the foam ones because they're quiet. And if you've ever been a teacher with 20 kids or so playing with these dice, you would like the quiet ones. Um, these are great because most people have them in different games and you can totally use these. There are also are some smaller ones that are foam. So I'll link down in the description some options if you don't have anything. Then you will need just something to record whiteboard markers or just any paper. And that will get you most of these games. There are some that do have things to print out if you want to. You can also just do them on paper. The other thing you might want if you are choosing to print them out is to have a sheet protector. You can just use any old sheet protector will work to stick those in and then they become like a dry erase where you don't have to keep printing out a bunch. You just use a dry erase marker and they wipe off. Um, there's also these thick heavy duty ones. Uh, they're dry erase pockets. Um, so these are great too. They just, they just hold it better than a sheet protector. But I also do have um, just a basic sheet protector and it totally works. So then some some kind of counter or marker to cover a space This could be anything buttons those little pom-pom things um, These are some just some counters that we had in the classroom. So those we'll be using to cover up and then some cubes I've had some linking cubes but they do, there's also Unifix cubes. Again, those links will be down below, but they do work better if they connect. Um, you could probably get by with some other ones, but the connecting part does work better because they're gonna be built in towers with them. So that should get us started. So for identifying numbers, uh, your kiddo will just have one dice to start and they will roll and they will count them if they don't know them or they will just say the number six if they're still working on counting that's fine give them a little practice with that and then you can add in some number cards and they will be matching okay so then they can roll one and then they can match it or they can take that one and then try to find some of the other ones now the point of this, it seems so basic. So, you know, getting started, this is great because it really helps students identify numbers and really just become fast and fluent with it. Because you know, as math progresses and gets more challenging, um, mental math really comes in handy. And so for kids to just get fast or fluent with knowing their numbers and being able to identify them, that will just set them up for more success later on. So um, we also call this subitizing. So knowing, knowing that this is six, visually being able to see it without having to count, or even when they're nodding their head and you can tell they're trying to count them all up. And there's nothing wrong with that getting started, but we, the goal is for them to get fast and to be able to see this number and visualize that's number six right away. Okay. Um, if you want more information on subitizing, I'll link down below a video I have of um, just, it's like a flash game. So it's just flashing the number or I'm sorry, the, the dot pattern. So that's called subitizing. And that's the idea of just some of these basic games with dice 
and other different dot patterns is just helping them being able to group the numbers together. And also if you want something for your kiddos to kind of move around, you can put these number cards on the floor and then they can go and jump on the number that they roll. That's another fun one to get them moving. So we're gonna talk about roll and cover. So this is one you can print out. This one starts with one die and you'll roll. And this is where you can use either some counters. Okay, they'll identify number six and then they will find it on their game board, okay? You could also use a marker and just cover that spot as well. Okay, so roll and cover has starts with one and then um, there's another page that has two die and they'll find the two dice and they'll find the sum and then there's another one that has three dice and they'll find the sum. Same, same way to play. is roll and trace. This one's great for those younger kiddos getting their fine motor skills too as they learn to write their numbers. So they or there we go. So you've got them larger with one to five, six to 10, and then there's one with one through 10 on there as well. Um, they might get an 11 or 12. I guess they can have a bonus and pick writing whichever one they want. Okay, for roll and build, we're gonna need, we're gonna start, actually I'm gonna start with just the single die side and then there's two dice going up to 12. And then this is where you'll also need your um, cubes. So you will roll, get a five, and you will choose five cubes and they've got to put them together which actually works good on their fine motor skills too having to connect these my preschoolers been doing that a lot lately okay so we've got five and then we find five on here and we build a tower okay and then roll again there's a four Okay, and find a four, okay, and so on. Now, if you had uh, two kiddos, you could do two different players. They could take turns. You could have a different color. So then there would be different colors. They could see which ones they have done. And I really like this one just for the visual. Um, so for two, we can see, you know, they can see the size of that and then five. So they can visually see that five is more than two, right? So it kind of helps with those that math vocabulary as well, like more, bigger, less. So this game is great for that. game called knockout now this has some different variations this is the way um, that we played in the classroom I know there's different ways to play it if you want to just do one player you just need to write down one through six on a piece of paper then they will roll oh lost it <laughs> 
these big dice travel. Okay, so two. So then you just cross out your number two and roll again. Oh, already got two, so I've got to roll again. One, two, roll. Okay, so the idea is to knock out all your numbers. Right? Again, this one could also be played with a partner. If so, you would write, have them both have their one through six numbers, and then they take turns trying to knock their numbers out. The first one to knock them all out wins. If they roll something they've already gotten, they lose that turn, it would go to the next person. So there you have it, easy math games with dice to keep your kids busy and learning. If you're interested in similar easy math games with dice, uh, check out my part two in the description box below, and it's geared more towards first, second, and third grade, and even older kids have fun with those dice games, so be a little bit more of a challenge than what I've showed you today. If you like these videos, please give this video a like and subscribe to get more content similar to this with math, reading and writing, activities and ideas for your kids. Thanks for watching.